welcome back to the channel. I'm actually on my way to Crystal River right now and um, we're gonna spend 4th of July weekend down there. Kyle was not able to make it with this trip just because um, he has some side jobs he needs to handle if he can. Um, obviously it's raining right now so it's outdoor work and worst case if can't get to it tomorrow he said he'll end up driving up separately because it's not far from us but um yeah I just I've actually been busy today Saturday and I ended up ordering a dining room table online through Ashley Furniture because they were offering sales because of fourth of July so I ended up picking up finally a dining room table with some chairs I'll pop up a little photo and then I ended up moving the rug from my dining room into or no excuse me for my living room into the dining room just because I had some blue accents and I have some blue bods and stuff in there so I thought it would look better and then we ended up running to Lowe's I actually found a rug that we liked so I ended up picking that up and that one now went to the living room and then I actually just finished finally painting my bathroom which I am so excited I'll, um, I'll link the video where I started it to, ch to show you how long it's actually been. And um, really all I had to do was just the cut in. But again, it has to be something you're like in the mood for and you actually want to do. And of course, I've been extremely busy just with everything. So yeah, I finally just made time for it. Got that done. And we actually have a hurricane coming towards us, Elsa, on Tuesday. So work is really busy for me. So I had to uh, work a couple late nights. And then um, I went grocery shopping just to prep, just to make sure. I mean, so far it's a category one, so to me that's, that's nothing. And um, I just wanted to make sure that we had some like water and some food at the house, just in case, of course, fill up your propane tank. And that call that I actually did for that, um, most people will pick up like tarps, they'll pick up generators, um, there's a lot of other things, they have like checklists, people will buy sandbags, they'll get sandbags, but um, we don't do any of the sandbags because we ended up building a like drain field in the backyard because we were having water problems a few years ago, so I ended up I shouldn't say I, but Kyle and I paid to have a drain field and then it leads to the front just so we don't have any interior water or water problems. Um, but yeah, I actually just got off the highway, so it just calmed down a little bit. And I'm actually going to stay there, I think, until Monday is the goal. So hopefully it might clear up a little bit. I ended up paying for my license so we can go scalloping because scalloping season opens this weekend and it is so much fun. I brought my GoPro with my battery and they were supposed to go out today, but of course couldn't because of the weather. So I'm not really sure how tomorrow's gonna play out or Monday. Monday is not supposed to be as bad with the rain. It's supposed to hit us a little bit later. So I guess um, really, unfortunately when, when summer hits us here, we end up um, doing a lot of indoor activities just because of the rain. But anyways, sorry, I'm rambling. And I will see you guys when I get there. So I'm gonna whoop, hit a pothole. I'm gonna focus on the road here and let's get there safely. So I just got here probably about 30 minutes or so and it's still raining. So we ended up finding this really cool, it's called Jam. It's called jam I don't know I mean if you guys see it, it's up there and basically they do um, axe throwing here and I know that they're supposed to be adding on is what I'm hearing so gotta stay busy and do some entertainment indoors but this is it so pretty cool so we're gonna throw some axes now
So axe throwing was a blast. We ended up doing like boys against girls and girls won. I mean, granted there was four of us versus three, but still. And now uh, Royal King is actually attached to this technically a mall and they do free popcorn. So now we're all munching around, eating our free popcorn. And if you don't know what Royal King is, basically it's kind of like, what would you say? It's for like farming, farming, people can get stuff their their farm animals they sell clothes here they sell fishing equipment here hunting equipment here so it's basically like a big store for country boys and country girls so yeah we're just gonna walk around here now Let's see what they have look he's cleaning him I like that one. So Kyle and I want to buy a hot tub, and I just saw this one. Look at that. It's like 500 bucks. That's so cool. He says absolutely not. So we'll just keep shopping. My mom made homemade lasagna, and then Chick made homemade bread. And Michelle is cutting it. And then Dad wants me to try this wine out. So, bottoms up. Do we have the cheese? Look at this bird nest. Just flew in the house. We're making Taylor ham, egg, and cheese over here. Toasting the bread up. And then Taylor ham. What else do they call this instead of Taylor ham? Taylor pork roll. Pork roll, if you guys from up north. And then that's where eggs will go. Guys, look, my mom is backing up the truck and the trailer. It's pretty damn impressive. How many feet long do you think it is? That's what she said. <laughs> All right, let's go enjoy our day on the boat. Guys, look, perfection. All right, let's head on the water. Got her red, white, and blues on. We're ready to celebrate the day. All right, so we are finally here about to scallop and we are 18 miles offshore. So the most important thing you want to do with scalloping, of course, is make sure you're far enough off land and the water should probably be no more than five feet deep. If anything, it should actually be more shallow because it'll be easier to spot, easier to go down, grab them. Important things is have a glove on, which I don't even have one yet. Have a net, you need a net to catch them. And then obviously just the essentials. There you go. One important thing my dad actually just mentioned was when you're diving, you actually need to make sure that your diving mat or your diving flag is actually higher than any predominant flag that you have. So here's here's our dive flag way up there. But I'm gonna show you some examples of what's wrong and what should be right. So hold on. So if you look here, they have their American flag, but their dive flag is actually sitting lower, which is actually not acceptable. Right there, their actual dive flag is higher than their American flag, which is the proper way. I mean, it is very fun. And as you guys can see, 
you know you're in the right spot when you got a lot of boaters around you. So now we're just going to anchor off and get in the water. picking up the crab traps. So I'll definitely film that. My, dra my dad dropped them Friday and they're supposed to be dropped for only 24 hours, but unfortunately with the storm, we couldn't grab them yesterday. So we're gonna head back now, grab them. I think there's five total and let's see if we caught anything. Well, technically I didn't catch nothing. I'm uh, extremely burnt, so look at this. Look at that tan, guys. Fabulous. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. All right, so we are back on the road and heading home. Uh, we, I was actually going to stay one more night, but to be honest with you guys, if you can't tell, I got extremely sunburnt and they're planning to go back on the water tomorrow. So I just said to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna go home and uh, spend the evening with Kyle and the puppers, which actually don't even know I'm on the way home. So I'm gonna surprise them. But um, today was awesome, guys. So basically, it says that it was about 60% chance all day of rain, but my dad threw out crab traps Friday, which I mentioned earlier. And so me and my sister look at each other and we're like, all right, well, we have to get the crab trap. So you know what? Let's just try. Let's just attempt to make a day out of it and go scalloping because it's it opens um, in July and it actually closes in September. So it's a pretty large window for it. And just so you do know, you actually need your um, scallop license in order to do this, which you can actually buy at like Dick's Sporting Goods. You can get it at a DMV or you can just purchase it right on the online. And I'll link the website below where I went and um it ranges anywhere between 20 to like 30 dollars depending on what you're getting because you need license for like fishing you need license for um scalloping you can do salt water and then you can also do for crabbing i don't really do much of that so i just got the bare bone when i need it and anyways um off topic there so me and my sister looked at each other we're like you know what let's just try so we did we um we got on the water and um, it wasn't raining when we um, launched the boat, we got on it. 
it was a little, it was actually very calm, the water, to be shocking, to be truthful with you. And then um, when we rode out, finally, it did get a little bit rougher, but um, very cloudy. So I was like, oh, perfect. I was like, this is a great day. There's no rain. Like, that means we won't get sunburned, blah, 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 blah. Well, of course, next thing you know, the sun came out, and then it was beautiful. It was awesome. I mean, we made a great day of it. I think we started at 11, ended at 2, headed back in. Then, as you guys seen, we grabbed the traps, and um, the food was still there. So my dad just kept them out there again, and we'll pick them up in the morning. So, yeah, it was a great um, July 4th. We always spend July 4th together as a family. And uh, we usually do come out to Crystal River area to go scalloping, but in years past, we would actually just kind of rent like an Airbnb. But uh, like you might have mentioned, or I might have noticed, my parents ended up building a place last last year. I think it was just last year. I think I think today basically marks almost one full year that they've had this home that my father built. So. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the day turned out absolutely beautiful. We ended up coming back. Uh, the guys cleaned the boats, and they ended up uh, putting the scallops on ice. It's basically what you have to do. I mean, freezing cold ice. You have to put the scallops on there. Um, and basically what happens is the interior will swell up, making the meat as large as possible. And then once it freezes, then you can go in. My dad does it with a knife, and you basically pop, pop it open and then you would eat the interior. I personally don't eat it. I don't do any type of seafood. The only seafood I will actually do, and it's not even seafood, is gator tail. That's about the only thing I will eat. But I don't mind uh, participating with it. That's a lot of fun. But yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy the vlog. Um, today was awesome. The day before was awesome. So I, um, I'm hoping to do a lot more things for you guys to see in Florida. If you guys ever come down here and visit. So if you could, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you on the next video. Bye, everyone. Thank you for choosing Dairy Queen Never Nest photo whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to do the small Girl Scout Thin Mint Blizzard. That's it. That's how we're not dead. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys. Mm. Oh, wow. I got the Blizzard Thin Mint. M. Mm. I should say Girl Scout Thin Mint. And this is the joy of being an adult. Ice cream for dinner.